Welcome back to the score. A key battle in the Northeast State Friday. New Haven and Norwell both 3-1 and one heading into the game. The Knights get off to an incredible start. Up 33-0 as we begin the second half. Norwell getting a lot of pressure on Jakar Williams here. It's Brody Bolin with the sack for the Knights. Williams stays composed though, finishing that drive with this throw, linking up with Lane Woodson for a 25-yard touchdown. After a two-point conversion, it's 33-8. But Eli Riley making a lot happen. This 20-yard rush, part of a big running night for him. Three TDs on the ground, one through the air. Norwell beats New Haven 43-8. Huntington North welcomes Belmont to town and the Vikings already up 7-0. But running back Aiden Dennis muscles his way in for the 24-yard score right at the goal line to make it 14-0 late in the first quarter. Belmont answers though with a nice run here from quarterback John Ullman to set himself up for a quarterback sneak and slithers his way in for the score making it 14-7. But it was Huntington North coming out on top in this one 35-13. Over at Churubusco, the Eagles rush into their next battle, hosting Prairie Heights. Big day for the Busco offense. Here it's Wyatt Marks on the carry, gets by a little traffic up front, but then the sophomore breaks away and he's gone. Marks with a 65-yard touchdown run to get the Eagles scoring started. Not a bad night for that Churubusco defense either. Cooper Pappenbrock gets to the quarterback, takes him down for the sack. Busco wins here 42-0 final. Undefeated Eastside seeking a challenge at Garrett, but the Blazers keep blowing by their opponents. The senior Lane Burns coming down the first half concluding pick as Eastside takes a 27-0 lead into intermission. Then coming right out the gate, they attack. Matthew Fires seen emerging out the backfield. He bursts by one tackler and is home free. It's an Eastside route and they pick up the win against Garrett. Coach Brent Kunkel and Bluffton ready to defend Park Field against visiting Jay County. And Hayden Nern ready to put on a show. First possession, 25 yards on a sweep to the left side. That drive continues and ends here. Nern quarterback draw for the touchdown. Tigers off and running. Early in the second now, Nern with his first passing touchdown. A three yard toss to Seth Bennett. Nern, 348 passing yards and six touchdowns through the air, leading a 48-7 win over Jay County. Wabash travels to Southwood for this evening's game. Starting here, Southwood's ball. Quarterback Alex Farr finds open Carson Rich, and that'll be a Knights touchdown. And Southwood looks to do it here once again, but check out this running game. Farr connects with Mo Lloyd, he dodges the defense, and takes it into the end zone. The Knights pick up this week's win against Wabash.